With accepting that job offer comes the talk of salary and with the talk of salary comes salary negotiation. There is always a window at the organization hand. If you are a good candidate, if you can bring in a lot of value, there is always a window. You, you can always go ahead and negotiate. But you know what, Tanishka? I have a better idea. Why don't I actually do a salary negotiation and show it to you? Hello. Hello. Hey, hi. Am I speaking with Ruchi? Uh, yes. Ruchi, hi. My name is Jasmine and I'm calling you from uh, Talent Acquisition Team of Upgrad. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you so much. So, this is a good news for you. Okay. That we are very, very keen to make you an offer. Okay. Congratulations is what I'd begin with. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, good time. I'll just take five minutes or so to understand your expectations and your date of joining and then we may proceed. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, Ruchi, I have a copy of your resume right in front of me. Okay. And I see that you're currently working with this firm since? One year, six months. Yes. Great. Months. So, what is your uh, current uh, CTC? I don't know you are aware of it or not. I'm withdrawing uh, like a 8.5 right now uh, with some variables. Got it. But still, I mean, because you've been here for a year and a half, I'm sure you must have withdrawn your variable at least for once. Uh, so the cycle over here is, is a bit different. And uh, as of now, you know, they no, do not count me one and a half. They have the six months of probation. And after that, they start counting the year. So I'm not due for it. So yeah, 8.5 is what you can consider as of Techni now. Or anything on paper that they've explicitly mentioned as a variable yeah. component? Around nine, yes. Okay, so your letter says nine. Nine, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's 8.5 plus 50,000. Got it. Why am I asking this is because we also have 5% uh, of variable as a part of our CTC. So it's important for us to know and that is annually payable. Okay, okay, got Great. it. Great. So I'd like to know your expectations, please. I understood from the interviewer so far that mm -hmm. uh, what they are looking for is something that I can bring to table. And uh, with the kind of experience I hold, this is like I, what I think I'm expecting somewhere around, you know, 55% raise in with my current CTC. While the earlier documentations were happening mm -hmm. and the expected uh, CTC was mentioned, I had also shared a 14 LPA figure over there. And after knowing that, I believe the seven rounds have happened. So I thought that somewhere the company is also aware about this expectation of mine. I mean, of course, uh, we give you that opportunity to write okay. uh, something that you wish to draw. Okay. However, practically speaking, I'm sure you know that 55% is not the industry hike. On the generalized uh, uh, medium I'd say that 55% uh, is a big no-no so only okay. if you are open to talk further we will take this conversation ahead because 55% of hike is completely impossible. But then what is that you are uh, you know like ready to offer at this point? Alright just a couple of questions that I may ask you before I tell you about this. Mm -hmm. Before this you were not working for six months right? Any specific reason why do you have a sabbatical? Basically I had joined an organization before that as you can see but uh, due to COVID uh, things didn't work my way and our entire uh, team was laid off mm -hmm. and unfortunately I thought I will be figuring out another job because you know that time the market was also helping a lot of people who had lost jobs and they were kind of uh, interviewing but I was not able to go through so yes uh, unfortunately I have a six months break on my CV right now and you joined your current organization at a nine LPA only one and a half year back or you kind of had some appraisal no so it was uh, uh, initially we had a six months probation over there also my expectations were a bit higher mm -hmm. and the company did not want to promise uh, you know that kind of hike immediately mm -hmm. so I did not join at nine I joined at 7.5 but after the, uh, seeing my performance after seeing you know having my managers uh, you know review and feedback I guess and then they revised it to nine so it's been a year I am on nine only okay so you are saying six months you were at 7.5 yeah. and for a year you are at nine, nine. and you are expecting 14 yeah because I had that you journey you wish to get so retired too quick or how is it <laughs> I mean, are your retirement plans way too early, like in the age no. of 35? So basically what I feel is I'm lagging a lot in terms of what, uh, you know, I should be getting. Uh, I have a, a lot of experience into marketing and I hold skill sets required for these roles as well. So I'm just wondering because I had career break and, you know, I moved places. So I think that uh, compared to the market standards, my mm -hmm. compensation is pretty low. And what Everybody I know... feels so, <laughs> including me. Yeah. I, I know, so but I, I did... I, problem. 
<laughs> and okay. sky is the limit when you want money so no I no so i'm not uh, expecting anything unrealistic over here i did my market research also mm -hmm. and what i understand that uh, not only your organization but the market value for this role particularly uh, is uh, you know somewhere above 15 lp and i know that it's too much of a like it's a 100% jump almost which i'm not expecting so i'm i'm just wondering so if you I know so i would beg to differ uh, okay. because there's no market capping for any specific role it completely depends on the kind of industry industry that you're getting mm -hmm. in uh, it's quite completely depends on the kind of company that you're getting in yes. it completely depends of, on the internal parity of the organization <laughs> so for example i would you would have 10 counterparts who would be doing the same role as you mm -hmm. right who are with us since a year or more mm -hmm. and me paying them less than a 10 lakhs and getting a resource from outside at a 50% mm -hmm. hike and those 10 pe people are their appraisals mm -hmm. are due and we have a certain budget in mind to appraise those folks right mm -hmm. so it is technically not right for us to get a manpower at a 50% hike and there is no one typical way of looking at what one role must uh, be offered right, in the industry right, but, so we would keep uh, that aside okay so i would talk about upgrade and the roles that i hire for because it's a new role and not a replacement role i definitely don't have a budget constraint in my mind saying that okay i need to place you at a previous incumbent salary xyz uh, having said that i would not like to have the liberty of giving inflated hikes i would still want to maintain uh, some internal parity and my industry standards we do pay lucrative salaries but at the same time we hire the kind of quality and the kind of work is expected from a folk right so money is definitely not a problem but we don't wish to set wrong examples okay but i want you to be equally motivated to take up this assignment so i mm -hmm. think uh considering you're at a 9 lakh but you technically make 8.5 mm -hmm. with us what your ctc would include 5% of variable but you'd make it basis your good performance so i think currently if you are at 9 lakhs mm -hmm. a 20% hike on this is uh, a 10.8 i can round it off to something which is like an 11 yeah i think that should work for me that is something that would not really disrupt my internal parity a B according to the market standards is a decent hike to be offered C the kind of role that we expect you to do with us mm -hmm. the salary quite justifies that after that we spoken so much i think 10.8 plus variable is something that going to be our final offer <laughs>